Hi friends, today's book is called The snatch -a book Who's Stealing All the Stories? It's by Helen and Thomas Daughtry. One dark night in Burrow Dawn, down, a rabbit named Eliza Brown found a book and settled down. When a snatch a book flew into town. Woohoo! In every house, in every bed, a bedtime book was being read. Look at that. They're reading their stories. Tales of dragons, spitting flames, witches playing spooky games. Pirates on the seven seas. Princesses trying to sleep on peas. Eliza Brown at number three was reading quite contentedly. Her curtains open just a chink. She barely had a chance to blink. Her storybook just disappeared. Eliza found that very weird. Three little owls on mommy's lap were quite surprised to hear a tap against their bedroom window glass. Tap, tap. The noise came really fast. Before they had even looked around, the book was gone. Ooh, without a sound. The wind blew across the sky. The smallest girl had to cry. What's that? She whispered to her dad. But then, and this was really bad, before they had a chance to look, she'd lost her very favorite book. And so it went night after night. Books disappeared from left and right. Five books here, six books there. The shelves began to look quite bare. In Burrow Dawn Down, the rumor spread of book thieves under every bed. Eliza Brown at number three was keen to solve the mystery. She planned one night to lie in wait and use a pile of books of, at, as bait. Long hours passed without a peep. She'd nearly fallen half asleep. Then suddenly, Alexis heard a flap of wings. A bat? A bird? Eliza saw a shadow loom enormous right across her room. What kind of monster could this be? Eliza thought, you don't scare me. And yet her heart was beating fast. She'd have to face the thief at last. She threw the window wide open and shouted to the thing outside, Stop stealing all our books right now. Just give them back. I don't care how. I'm sorry, came a little voice. I really am. I had no choice. Eliza looked down. In her surprise, she couldn't quite believe her eyes. So, who are you and what's your name? The creature hung its head in shame. He mumbled with a mournful look. I'm just a little snatch a book. Eliza nodded solemnly. She sat the creature on her knee. You can't just come and help yourself to every book on every shelf. A tear rolled down the creature's eye, and softly he began to cry. I know it's wrong, but can't you see? I've got no one to read to me. Eliza sighed. He looked quite so sad. If he just had a mom or dad to read him stories every night well, then he might behave all right. 
that very night they hatched a plan. And so the snatch a book began to give back all the books that he picked. Eliza's Brown was very strict. Then trying hard to prove himself, he stacked them neatly on each shelf. And when he made his full amends, Eliza called on all her friends and told them how he'd worked all night to turn a wrong into a right. And now each night in Burrow Down, as darkness falls upon the town, in every house and every bed, a bedtime book is being read. Look at all those books. And if you take a closer look, you might see the snatch a book perched happily on someone's bed, listening hard to each word said. The end. Have a good weekend, friends. Bye-bye.